I initially debated on an End Times warning episode or something else, and decided today to instead focus on something more appropriate to Holy Week. To that end, I present to you the Forgotten Saint, whose feast is today, April 11th, St. Gemma Galgani, who was beatified by Pius XI and canonized by Pius XII. She was a mystic who understood the concept of redemptive suffering and the unique role Mary played in the story of salvation, better so than many Catholics today. She was sometimes referred to as the Daughter of the Passion for her intense replication of the Passion of Christ. She was born on March 12, 1878, in a small Italian town near Lucca. At a very young age, Gemma developed a love for prayer. She made her first communion on June 17, 1887. Gemma was loved by her teachers and her fellow students, as a student at a school run by the Sisters of St. Zita. Her chronic health issues would force her to eventually quit school before graduation. She experienced mystical experiences and special graces throughout her life, which caused her to be misunderstood by others, making her the butt of jokes. Gemma suffered heartaches when she offered in reparation, remembering that our Lord himself had been mis misunderstood and ridiculed. Some of these mystical experiences included deep insight into Marian suffering. During one ecstasy, she experienced the following, which she later wrote in her diary. Quote, this morning, after Holy Communion, I thought, Oh, what a great sorrow must have been for the Madonna after the birth of Jesus when she thought that they were going to crucify him. What a heartache. How many sighs. How many times she must have cried. However, she never complained. Poor mother. Then when she saw him really crucified... That poor mother was pierced by so many arrows. I know very well that when a person hurts the son in the presence of a mother or father, the pain hurts the son and also the parents. Therefore, my mom was crucified together with Jesus, and she never complained. Poor mother. St. Gemma had led a pious life, lived in both works and prayers. She had an immense love for the poor and helped them in any way she could. After her mother's death, she assisted her father in raising her siblings until they were old enough to assist, at which point she lived with an aunt briefly, and was suddenly the subject of numerous marriage proposals, which she rejected, choosing a life of solitary reflection on our, the life of our Lord. She returned home and almost immediately became very ill with meningitis. Throughout this illness, her one regret was the trouble she caused her relatives who took care of her. Feeling herself tempted by the devil, Gemma prayed for the help for help to the venerable passionist Gabriel Posenti. Through his intercession, Gemma was miraculously cured. She wished to become a nun, but her poor health prevented her from being accepted. She offered this disappointment to God as a sacrifice. She predicted that the passionists would establish a monastery at Lucca. This came to pass two years after her death. Today, Gemma's relics remain at the passionist monastery in Lucca. On June 8, 1899, Gemma had an internal warning that some unusual grace was to be granted to her. She felt pain and blood coming from her hands, feet, and heart. These were the marks of the stigmata. Each Thursday evening, Gemma would fall into a rapture and the marks would appear. The stigmata remained until Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. When the bleeding was stopped, the wounds would close, and only white marks would remain in place of the deep gashes. Gemma Stigmata would continue to appear until her confessor, Rev. Germanus Rupolo, advised her to pray for their disappearance due to her declining health. Through her prayers, the phenomenon ceased, but the white marks remained on her skin until her death. During the later apostolic investigations into her life, all witnesses testified that there was no deceptions in, Ga in Gemma's behavior. Most of her severe penances, in fact, and sacrifices were hidden from most who knew her. In January of 1903, Gemma was diagnosed with tuberculosis. At the start of Holy Week in 1903, Gemma began suffering greatly. She died at age 25 on Holy Saturday, April 11th. The parish priest in her company said, She died with a smile which remained upon her lips, so that I could not convince myself that she was really dead. St. Gemma Galgani was beatified on May 14, 1933, by Pope Pius XI, and canonized on May 2, 1940, only 37 years after her death by Pope Pius XII. She is the patron saint against temptations, against the death of parents, against tuberculosis, of students, and of pharmacists. Her feast day is celebrated on April 11th. St. Gemma Galgani, pray for us.